Hi, this is the Blacked Out Ewoks Guide to the Vintage Star Wars figures. So we're going to start in 1978 with 12 backs. So these are the first figures that came out a year, more or less a year later than the movie came out. So we had to wait for these figures. But these are such iconic cards and they're highly collected now, highly treasured. And, you know, the 12, stuff about the 12 back with the Star Wars logo, you've got 12, 20 and 21 backs. Like this loops a 21 back. And then you move on to Empire Strikes Back cards. And these you get your 21 backs. Empire Strikes Back 31, 32 backs. 45, 47 and 48 backs. So there's quite a lot to collect with the Empire Strikes Back. Then we move on to Return of the Jedi. We've got the 48 backs. Which were transition cards like the 21 back Empire Strikes Back card. Uh, you've got the 65 back, and then the 77 back, and the 79 back. Some of the Jedi cards had updated pictures for key characters like Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo. Um, the Jedi cards are probably the ones you find the most these days if you're trying to put a collection together. If they don't have a logo, then that probably means, like, see, that's a Kenner there. This one's a British card. This is a Palatoy. That's a Kenner there. That's a French Meccano. Very rare. That's a Palatoy English card, UK card. Another Palatoy. Uh, obviously, that's another Palatoy, but... Obviously, there's the Toy Tony scandal where a UK seller was buy, bought a lot of Palatoy card backs and he put blisters and figures on these cards. But that came to light in 2013. There's quite a few foreign vari variations. There's the French Meccano cards like this one here. Uh, there's the Spanish PBP, Canadian... This is a Canadian transition card. So that's an Empire Strikes Back card with a Canadian sticker for the latest movie, which is Return of the Jedi. There's um, obviously the British Palatoys, the US Kenner, Lily Lede Mexico, Glass Lighty Brazil, Argentine Top Toys. This is a PVP Spanish card. So these are foreign cards nowadays tend to be highly sought and tend to be a lot more expensive than the regular Kenner or Palatoy cards. Um, so that's the Spanish back there. After the Return of Jedi cards, we went, moved on to the Power of the Force 2, which you'll see later. Or oh, here it is. This is the Power of the Force card. These are last 17. So these are the ones that came with coins. It's about 62 coins that you could collect. Very hard to assemble a full set. But the last 17 figures are highly sought now. Uh, Yak Face is the 93rd figure. So this is a 92 back. Yak Face is the 93rd figure. He was so, sold on the Canadian Trilogue, uh, tri uh, Power of the Force and Trilogo. Then we move on to the what was sold in Europe. So instead of having all different foreign cards, we all got, we got Trilogo cards where... It's just a single card for the whole of Europe. So it's got three logos, one in English, French and Spanish. These are quite nice cards. Tri-logos tend to have a lot of picture variations, uh, especially with something like this Luke Bespin. Or if you look at the back of the figure, the card is quite different to the... Uh, the colour is quite different to the Empire Strikes Back or Return of Jedi card. So tri-logos are quite nice. To collect quite popular now so some tri logos have like this sticker in the top corner for a dutch offer then we move on to droids which and ewoks so this is brazilian droids cards these are quite rare quite hard to find obviously the most famous is vlix which was only sold in brazil these came out later in 1988 so but you can get us issued uh, Ewoks and Droids as well and um, they didn't do really very well so there's about 12 Droids, droids carded figures and um, 6 um, Ewoks then you can start collecting 
variation figures like you got those two attack drivers were both Spanish POC and PBP figures, baggies, figures in baggies, figures in mailers. Um, there's so much to collect. So once you've assembled a carded collection, you can move on to figure variations like the Mexican figures, Lily Ledes, um, paint variations with figures like that's uh, Riyi's Focus, a Bib Fortuna. And, you know, so Luke with brown hair, blonde hair, all that sort of stuff. So there's so much you can get into when you collect carded vintage Star Wars. You can compare old figures with new figures if you feel so inclined. So it's quite an interesting hobby, this. And, yeah, so I hope you liked listening to me waffle about um, these figures and cards. Obviously, the 12 backs are now the most highly prized. Then some of the power of the force to... I mean, Powder Force and then some of the rarer figures. Anyway, cheers, goodbye. Bye.